So, you've just finished playing through Half-Life. Congrats, you're about 24 years late. But also, you're not completely done with Half-Life 1, so don't go to Half-Life 2 just yet. There are two expansion packs for Half-Life, Opposing Force and Blue Shift. Ooh, I can play as Army Dude and Barney Clone number 784,425. But which one of these is better? Well, first, I'll give you a little history of the two. And even though I know 99% of you already know everything, I'm still gonna tell you. What are you gonna do about it? So, let's start all the way back. No, not that far. It's 1998. Your Valve and Half-Life became a huge success. Hooray. Now you want to continue the series, but you want the actual sequel to be technically even better, so that's going to take you five years of pain, struggling, and a source code leak. No big deal. In the meantime, though, you want an addition to Half-Life, so that people don't get bored after ten years. Yikes, that phrase didn't age well. But you can't really work on any additions because you're too busy working on the sequel and dealing with leaks and all that stuff, so you turn to someone else. Meet Gearbox Software. They're relatively new, so they're not trying to make anything new and fancy, so they use the stuff that already exists. Well, good news for you, because you happen to have connections with them. So you pitch the idea to them, and they agree. Congrats, now you can leave that to them, and focus on breaking your back over the Source engine. So, now you're Gearbox Software. Cool, now you have something to do instead of just sitting at your desk contemplating why you're still working. Fast forward a year, and boom, Opposing Force is released. And it also becomes a success. Then one day, you're sitting in your office, and you hear Valve from the other room screaming, Hey, can you make another one please? The sequel has taken a lot longer than we thought. I mean, Opposing Force was a success, so let's try it again. Two years pass by now, probably because you're lazy. And boom, Blue Shift is released. And it was also a success. Just not as much as the other one. Sad. So yeah, that's how they came about. Then fast forward 21 years later, and you're watching some random loser on the internet talk about both of them, like you haven't already played both of them. So, which one is better? Well, let's point out the differences between them. In Opposing Forest, you play as Adrian Shepard, a grunt that's just as antisocial as Gordon Freeman, and me, so that's quite an achievement, who was sent to contain the Black Mesa incident, and that went about as well as you'd expect. In Blue Shift, you play as the original Barney Calhoun, not one of his 5 million clones. You as Barney couldn't give less of a f about containing the incident, so you just try to escape. So that's the first big difference, you get to play on the different sides, I guess you can call it. The story of Opposing Force is a bit more... confusing, I'd say. Like, there's not really a clear objective you're going towards. You start on a helicopter with the boys, who just love to roast each other in the most primitive ways possible. And where the hell are we anyway? Well, the pilot thought we were heading to your mother's house. <laughs> so far, this all looks familiar. You seem to see, and hear, a weird alien ship fly. And at that point, you realize everyone on your team is both blind and deaf because the pilot and the boys didn't hear that thing fly by. So now you're nervous. <laughs> at least they finally realize it when your helicopter gets shot and crashes. You wake up in a building, but unfortunately your boys aren't looking so great. But you're built different, so you grab your vest and go on. You make your way through Black Mesa and almost fall into toxic waste because the floor broke from the sheer amount of electricity that touched it. You ride a train, get off, and then through the glass, you notice another alien that doesn't look the same as the Zen ones. Good thing you don't have to worry about it because shortly after, you find the way to a helicopter that's gonna send you home. Just kidding, some guy in a suit really wants you to stay. And because your vocal cords don't work I guess, you go back into Black Mesa through a hole in the wall that a Vortigon conveniently just made. Then you meet some assassin looking people, who really don't like you so they try to kill you. But again, you're built different so you just pull an Uno reverse card on them. You spend some more hours going through Black Mesa. Then, as you open a door, you see the weird orange person you were looking for this whole time jump into a portal. But, you can sense the future, and you know that even if you jumped in a few seconds after him, you'd end up falling into the abyss as you watch him stand there, changing his in-game settings. Instead, you go through a different portal that brings you to a rock in Zen. You find a portal back to Earth, and then keep going through the facility. As you're going through Black Mesa, not knowing what the hell you're doing, you come across the final boss. And in pure army fashion, you shoot the thing in the eyes until it goes blind and disintegrates right in front of you. Then, you meet the same guy in the suit, and he says he's gonna keep you in literal nowhere. And with that, opposing force ends, and Adrian gets forgotten ever since. Now what about Blue Shift? Well, you start as Barney, on another train ride. Quite a normal day, you know. You see trains pass by with some odd acting people inside. 
You put on your vest and make your way to your post. You get on quite possibly the slowest elevator ever, and you hear some rumbling as you go down. As you pass by a window, and the elevator stops, and you see stuff going crazy. A weird dog chasing a scientist, an alien with bad posture shooting lightning from his hands, and a train that doesn't stop and flies off the track. And the elevator starts moving again, at speeds an elevator should be moving at, but it keeps speeding up, and up, until you crash. When you wake up, you go through Black Mesa, and see some more weird dogs. You do some stuff in the sewers, because even as a security guard, you still can't open some doors. You keep shooting some more of those things with bad posture, and you find a scientist who is about to die, but tells you to find a certain Dr. Rosenberg. So you go through the train yards, because when you have 300 IQ like Barney, you know for certain that Rosenberg is going to be in one of those carriages. When you find him, he tells you to go with him to the old lab, and because you can't talk, you agree. However, he doesn't tell you where it is, and you just have to go find it yourself while he follows with the best AI they had in 2000. You make it to the old lab, and he tells you that you have to go to Zen to do something. I don't know what. So you jump through the portal and make it to Zen. Then you crawl through a million tunnels to find this thing, and push some buttons to make it do stuff. Then you go back to Earth through a portal that conveniently opened. Now you're back, and you can all get out, right? Nope. Apparently they had just enough power to open one portal. So now you have to go and turn the power back on. So they send you because you're the only one with a gun. You shoot some grunts, zombies, and turn the power back on. So then Rosenberg turns the machine back on for everyone else, except you because clearly you're the last one they care about. Why are we still here? And conveniently, the army shows up right as your portal turns on. Amazing. Of course, the video game fate has it that your portal is screwed up a little and teleports you around. Conveniently to some room where you see Gordon getting dragged. And the end. So, that's the stories of the two. I'm gonna be honest, Opposing Force didn't really have a story with some meaning behind it. You're literally just a grunt who was sent to Black Mesa to handle the place, which failed within the first 10 minutes. So then the rest of the game is kinda just you trying to find a way out. Which you... kinda did, I guess? Blue Shift, though, actually had a story with some progression. It starts similar to how Half-Life did. You start on a tram ride, and then go about your normal day at work until a disaster happens, just as a guard instead. But the progression part comes from you trying to find Dr. Rosenberg, and then helping him turn on the teleporter so you guys can escape. You can actually get semi-invested in the story in Blue Shift, not quite as much in Opposing Force. In Blue Shift, Rosenberg talks a lot. Like, I mean, a lot. Almost as much as Half-Life 2, which is quite an accomplishment. So your first time playing could be fun, but then if you play it again, you'll just find yourself jumping around the room while Rosenberg is talking. Opposing Force does have a boss fight at the end, while Blue Shift doesn't. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it could be depending on who you are. But in Blue Shift, you actually escape. In Opposing Force, Suit Person captures you and leaves you... wherever this is. Both games have different lengths. Opposing Force is way longer, like around two and a half hours. Blue Shift is only an hour and a half. In terms of additions to the game, Opposing Force is objectively better. It includes all the same Half-Life weapons, but replaces some. No more crowbar, now it's a wrench and a knife. No revolver, now a deagle. No crossbow, now a sniper. No gauss gun, now a displacer gun. And no hive hand, now it's... this thing, I forgot the name. Opposing Force also includes new game mechanics. You have a barnacle which can be used like a grappling hook, but only on specific surfaces. And you can use it to grab enemies and bring them closer to you. And you can use the displacer gun to teleport you to a place in Zen with more ammo. And the Deagle can have a laser, which makes it more accurate, but you can't shoot as fast. You can have teammates like the Engineer and Medic, which you sometimes need to progress. The Engineer will break down doors for you, and the Medic is a walking med station. You can just hold E on him and he'll just heal you. You can also climb ropes, which adds some cool parkour jumps in the game, even though it can be a bit clunky sometimes. Also, the ropes is the only time I've seen physics in Gold Source, so that's cool. Oh, and Opposing Force has multiplayer as well. Blue Shift has none of what I just mentioned. So, those are the differences between the two expansions. Oh, but I'm sure I missed a million things as well here. But how about we see what other people think? The overall reviews on Blue Shift are very positive, but for Opposing Force, they're overwhelmingly positive. So, I think you can see which one people like more. I personally like Opposing Force more, but again, to each of their own. So, to answer your question, person who hasn't played the expansions yet, just play both. But anyways, bye.